senior capstone, which I taught this fall on a topic related to food politics and food in the information age, uh, was a course in which students had both a collaborative and an individual project. And in general, the capstone course requires a sustained uh, individual essay uh, that involves some research, but in the case of the, course, the version I teach, they also were doing group projects in which they groups visited a site in the Bay Area uh, where environmental and technological uh, developments really were, were mingling in interesting ways. So for example, one group looked at the off-the-grid startup in San Francisco and San Mateo, which is using social media networking in a really savvy way to bring food trucks in uh, to a kind of public gathering space and help food startups have a forum for developing a, a business model that's sustainable for them. Uh, and the use of information technology and social media especially was really central to how that group went about their analysis of that, that site. Uh, and so in general, we're trying in the capstone, but in other STS courses as well, to have both collaborative and individual forms of assignment. And I think that really speaks to the kind of student drawn to STS. STS majors tend in general to be really interested in research in both traditional and non-traditional ways and really interested in case studies and in collaboration. You would imagine that there are really substantial differences between the BA and Bachelor of Science students in STS and that they have radically different notions about technology because they're in one track or the other. In fact, I think what characterizes these two groups within the STS major is a shared sense of both um, curiosity and excitement about science and technology and a capacity for critical uh, analysis of the ethical and historical dimensions of particular technology applications or particular areas of science research. And so what really distinguishes our Bachelor of Art and Bachelor of Science students is simply how much technical depth and technical uh, training they want based on their long-term career trajectory, in fact. And what the students often tell us in STS is that what makes the major so unique for them is the opportunity in courses to dialogue across that boundary of you know, techie and fuzzy, to use the language of Stanford, and that this is a major where often students who would otherwise be separated because one was in communication or sociology or, or English and the other was in uh, civil or mechanical engineering, they are in courses together having these conversations about both the positive potential and uh, social consequences of different science and technology developments. STS certainly has an emphasis on technological and science development since the Second World War and particularly um, after the Cold War even. However, we have a really terrific group of affiliated faculty in the history and philosophy of science, uh, including Paula Finlan, Landa Scheibinger, and others who are offering courses both that are crossless in STS that provide students a really uh, deep historical foundation for understanding science and technology over time and in different geographical and cultural contexts. And so, for example, students can take a course on um, Einstein on the one hand in the broader context of uh, the early 20th century and its technological and military history, but they also can take a class about science as it was being developed in the Renaissance uh, with Paula Finlan. And they can take with John Proctor classes that reach very far back in terms of looking at how different moments in the history of science uh, shed light on the fundamental assumptions about what science is, what it should do, what it can do, what its sort of relationship is to, to the social realm. And so we're really trying to find a balance in the program between contemporary and historical uh, coursework. STS as a major has had a number of students, has had a pretty large proportion of students who are interested in the relationship between information technologies and computing and social questions. But we're seeing a sort of rise in students interested in the relationship between life sciences, technology, and ethical as well as cultural issues. Uh, and I think these are students who are drawn to, first of all, the kind of contemporary developments in the life sciences in which actually information technologies are increasingly a part of, let's say, how a geneticist lab operates day to day and the, the use of computing technology and life science research in the wet lab, if you will. Uh, and while the Humbio major is an excellent major for students who are interested in the sort of how life science research and medical research relates to human health, to public policy around human health, and so on, there's a kind of space in STS for exploring the relationship between the life sciences and not only 
human questions like those, but also questions about the non-human world of um, other animals and plants. And here, for example, genetic modification is a really rich topic for an STS major to explore. And there are a number of courses both in the life sciences here, as well as in law and in history and elsewhere where an STS major could develop a really rich concentration around the biosciences and bioethics.